How to make marinated steak tips. Let's get into it. First, I'm doubling my recipe, but I'll give you guys the regular recipe. In a medium to large size bowl, preferably with a lid, add half a cup of ketchup. Don't forget to scrape down the cup. Half a cup of Italian dressing. And half a cup of Coke. Any flavor, but we usually just use regular plain. Whisk everything together until well combined. And then put it aside for the second. And grab your steak tips. If they're large steak strips like this, maybe cut them in half. You want to leave them in large chunks so they don't fall through your grill if you're cooking them outside. Leave them in large chunks because they will get a little bit smaller and you don't want them too small anyways. When you're done cutting your steak, put it inside your marinade. When all your steak is in there, you want to mix it up a little bit just with your hands. It'll just be easier. Make sure everything is really coated well. Be careful not to make a mess. And when you're done, gently push everything down and make sure the dressing is covering all of it. That way you won't have to fold it over and mix it up again. You could just leave it. And then when you're done, either put the lid onto your bowl or put it in a Ziploc bag and then put it into your fridge overnight. When you're ready to cook your steak, take it out of the fridge, heat up and grease your inside or outside grill, depending on where you prefer to cook it, and start taking out your steak tips. Let the excess drip off a little bit, and then put it onto your grill. One nice even layer, make sure they're flat and they're not like folded over each other. Then you want to cook till the desired doneness, so if you like it rare, medium rare, well done, whatever you want, about six to eight minutes depending what you want. Halfway through, flip it over, and then cook it until it's whatever doneness you want. Again, six to eight minutes, maybe ten, depending on, you know, rare, medium rare. Look at those nice charred lines. When you're done, again, don't forget to check for your desired doneness. And when you're ready, serve with whatever choice of side you feel like. I made mine with mixed veggies and garlic bread. And serve and enjoy. Enjoy.